Alright, well, it is afternoon of day seven at the moment, to get you steady up there. Um, I spent last night in Julian. Uh, you might be able to tell I sound a lot. I think I sound a lot better today. I'm still, still croaky, but I definitely feel a lot better. I'm having some trouble with the camera steady there. But um, yeah, I got some, spent the night in the B&B. &B. Uh, it was pretty comfortable. Got a decent night's sleep and generally just feel a lot better uh, today. Like, still croaky, but it's not the end of the world. So, we got in Julie yesterday morning, um, got myself a room straight away, and just spent the day relaxing. Uh, Julian's a pretty big sort of, well, it's a pretty small town, but it's full of hikers. Uh, there's a place there called Mum's Pies, and you get a free piece of pie just for being a hiker. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's a place called Carmen's, which is unfortunately only open for a few more weeks and then she shuts down, but at the moment she's entirely closed to the public and just looks after hikers all day. So, yeah, there and she'll cook your food, like a couple of burritos and um, burgers, things like that, dirt cheap. Pretty much all on the honor system. You just ask her what, you, just ask her whatever you want. She cooks it up and doesn't give you a bill or anything. Just, she just assumes she put the money in the jar, which of course, you know, we do, well I do. Um, so that was cool. Um, and spent the rest of the day basically hanging out there today and just attacking this climb up out of uh, the desert floor in the evening sun. I think it's about six, it's probably about 6 p.m. now. Still quite sunny. Still probably another hour to a daylight left. But it's a lot cooler. So that's why I'm trying to do this steep climb now. Just trying to get maybe maybe three, four or five miles in and I'll camp for the night and um, and finish off tomorrow. It's about, from the start point, which is way back there, uh, it's 14 miles between water source at the moment. And it's actually, uh, it's actually significantly longer, but there's a well-maintained water cache after 14, which is where people just come and, they just come and stock water for us. So, I believe there's a couple of pallets of uh, water sitting there waiting for me tomorrow morning. Or at least I hope there is. Because I'm certainly not carrying enough to get past that. Um, you don't generally rely on a water cache, but this is the one on the whole trail which allegedly you can rely on. So that's pretty much the plan. It's a small mile day today, so uh, yeah, small mile day. Yesterday's five miles yesterday. Four or five today and hopefully be back into the swing of things tomorrow. Um, and go anywhere between 15 and 20 maybe. So I'm just taking it easy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Got my new shoes. Uh, I don't really know if you can see them. I can't see them, there they are. Nice and clean and shiny. Thankfully my phone didn't fall out of the holster then. Uh, they're feeling really good. They're a size up. I am now officially wearing the largest size of Brooks Cascades you can get. Um, size 15 or 14 in Australia. And uh, yeah, they feel good. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, hopefully they work out. Oh, long one. Sorry, my, uh, my little stick cam thing's not, not going too well today. What can I say? I can only do one thing at a time. It's hard enough walking, talking, and like steering this little stick thing while hoping no one sees me because I must look ridiculous. Um, yeah, of course, that's it. Thanks for all those who uh, messaged me saying I feel better and rest up. I appreciate that. And for those who said they like the videos so far, uh, yeah, they're pretty rough. I don't edit anything. Um, it's not really, I'm not allowed to make a professional production. I'm basically just logging or keeping a little video diary for myself, really. But I just try and share it as well. So you guys can have a clue what the hell I'm actually doing walking out here in the desert. So I'll leave it there, and uh, that's pretty much the end of day seven. Coming up on about, probably just past 80 miles into the trail now, which is, <laughs> that probably should be more like day four, but it's not a race. So I'll just keep plodding along. Um, oh, that's the other thing, yeah, groups. 
few people have sort of asked whether I'm going to, now that I've uh, stayed back a day, whether I'm going to like join another group or anything. And I guess there's not really any formal groups out here. It's like a one big traveling community. You sort of, I, like for the first few days, I probably knew close to 50, 50 or 60 people um, who were all either ahead or behind me on trail. And you're constantly just switching back and forth with them. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me with this wind, it might just be gibberish. But so now I am a day behind. The chances of catching the other people are, well, that could take days or weeks. But I've already met some new people who have camping back there. And you're just constantly meeting new people making new friends and you just keep passing each other during the day. Sometimes you walk with them. Like I just walked with, walked up this first part, first couple of miles with a couple of guys from, uh, I think one was from Tennessee, one's from uh, Florida. So yeah, you know, I'll, I'll no doubt see them tomorrow and the next day and we'll just keep passing each other. But anyway, I think this wind is probably making it pretty hard to even hear what I'm saying. So I'll leave it there and I'll, See you in the morning. Well, there sure is a pretty view behind me here, like where I'm camping tonight, but it is so windy I can't even set up my tent. Unfortunately, I hiked on a little bit too far past a lot of probably better sites, and um, now it's pretty much starting to get dark and there's not many more spots left in the, in the near next couple of miles, and it looks like I'm gonna be exposed on top of this ridge top all night. <coughs> cowboy camping under the stars um, hopefully not turning into mountain lion food or a rattlesnake nest so yeah <laughs> this will be a first cowboy camping on my own in the middle of the desert sweet all right well all right it's uh just on dark now sleeping out under the stars <clears throat> definitely shitting myself a little bit this is I know this is common I know this guy's just a mile back on the same thing, probably a few people a miles up doing it and people everywhere all through the desert sleeping under the stars like this but for me it's very new I've done it once before there was a bunch of other people um, never just on my own like this out in the middle of nowhere feels like there's no one for anywhere this side of the horizon but let's hope for some sleep uh, I'll definitely be up hiking before dawn but um I've got my hiking poles here beside me and my knife beside me and uh, it's about the only thing resembling a weapon I've got. And yeah, let's just hope I don't wake up with a mountain lion chewing on my face or a rattlesnake holed up inside my sleeping bag. Both of those are pretty terrible options. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sort of the ironic thing is it feels like the wind has died down now, but I'm sure if I tried to set my tent up, it'd pick up again. Just one of those things. Anyway, it's all about new experiences and... Uh, I did say, you know, to myself I wanted to be uncomfortable out here and sort of push my comfort zone. So tonight is doing that. Let's hope for a uh, let's hope for a good star show at least. All right. All right. Morning it is uh, day eight today. I successfully did not get eaten by a mountain lion last night, nor did I wake up spooning with a rattlesnake. So that was a win. Um, I definitely didn't get as good a sleep as I probably needed because <coughs> um, it was so windy where I ended up camping that uh, even though I didn't end up like I couldn't set up my tent, it was just, I tried, it was just way too windy, even using rocks to try and secure the, uh, the ropes, but um, even just lying on that in the open, some of those gusts of wind felt like they were going to pick me up and carry me away. So, yeah, it was uh, not the most restful night's sleep, but I was lying down for eight hours and that kind of counts, doesn't it? Um, I woke up about four. I guess the plus side of uh, not setting up the tent is it's a lot easier to pack up and get moving. So I sort of lay there for a bit about four and I was up and hiking by quarter to five this morning. I had about nine miles from where I camped to the next water, um, of which now I've only got probably a bit under four left. 
three and a half miles, maybe four miles left to the water, which is good. And uh, <coughs> after that, I've got a 10 mile stretch, I believe, to the next water where I'll probably camp for the night. So I'm going to be about a 19 mile day, which is pretty big. Uh, probably rather not do it that big, but it comes down to that whole when you can't go to carry extra water thing. So if you want to cook and that kind of stuff. So um, if I do do the 19 today, it gets me within about 10 miles of Warner Springs, which is the next, I don't really know you can call it a town, but the next thing that resembles civilization. Um, where I'll probably maybe take another Nero or maybe the full zero because I don't know, I was feeling really good yesterday. Today, not as good. So I might need to settle down again and just they're trying to get over this damn bug. Yeah, but uh, the shoes, new shoes are feeling great. Uh, borderline luxurious, which is nice. My feet are very happy. Um, I've got plenty of food, lots of water. Beautiful day, I mean, I don't know if you can see any of this that I'm sort of hiking around here, but I mean, the scenery is just awesome. There's no other way to describe it. Uh, I love these clear mornings. So nice and cool. I try and not do too much hiking in the heat of the day. But anyway, I'll uh, leave it there for, for now. Morning of day eight, um, and I should be passing the 100 mile mark, maybe today actually, which a couple of days longer than it probably should have taken, but is what it is. Today is gonna to be a music day. Uh, eight miles to go, it's 10 a.m. It's already pretty hot. You gotta take, there's no shade really. You gotta take these little shady bushes and things when you, when you get a chance. So yeah, today's gonna to be a music day, just plodding along, trying to, uh, Trying to cover these next eight miles to the next water source where I can pull up and uh, camp for the night. As you can see, my voice is still not getting any better. I actually feel worse today than yesterday, which makes pretty much no sense. So that's frustrating. But you know, just the old left foot, right foot, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. End of day eight. Um, still sick. It's kind of doing my head in, but today wasn't too bad. I up and hiking early. Uh, got into this campground at about two o'clock, which means I'd done 19 miles or 30 and a half kilometers by two o'clock. So it was pretty good. Uh, the music really, music, music really picked me up. I was struggling before then. I was like thinking, oh, it's hot, and I'm just stuck in my head thinking about my sore throat and everything, and then. Put some music in, I pretty much just hovered down the trail after that. If I had a voice, I would have been singing along probably. But um, yeah, got in, got in nice and early, had a lot of relaxing afternoon here, and um, just a gentle eight miles, um, which is about 12 or 13 kilometers. Tomorrow morning, I uh, should have it done before breakfast, and then um, go out and hang out. Now, this is into Warner Springs. I'm gonna hang out there for at least a day, maybe two. I gotta, I gotta shake this thing. It's, um, it's making my hike a bit, a bit challenging, more, a bit more challenging than it needs to be. So yeah, well, uh, hopefully I'll shake it and, and then get on with things after that. But yeah, no, it's been a relaxing afternoon. Some people, a guy turned up with uh, pizza and beer and stuff uh, at the campground, so that was pretty cool. They call that trail magic, and that um, yeah, was my first one. So got some pizza and a beer or two, and just uh, sat back and relaxed. So yeah, good, good end to a day anyway. And um, yeah, tomorrow should be good. Anyway, I will uh, post more videos later. Alright, 